Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Fist25, and I'm coming at you with kind of a sneak peek of a ship that was just uh, released today in the 3.16 PTU in Star Citizen. This is uh, the Drake Cutlass Steel, brand new variant from Drake Interplanetary. This is the dropship variant, um, and kind of the uh, the ground assault variant, if if you if you will. Um, and we're gonna take a quick look at this ship. Uh, probably my fastest uh, ship overview I've ever done. And let's get that started right now. Well, thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Um, I, I appreciate you coming back. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. I'm going to, uh, when this ship actually releases in 316.1, uh, sometime after the new year in 2022, I'm going to do a little bit more in-depth guide to the ship. Um, this ship just came out hours ago, um, and there's not a whole lot of data on it there is no rsi uh web page for it. yeah you can't buy it yet um there's not even anything on urkel yet so there's some stuff in in various discords and out there and i believe cig gave this to streamers so we could uh, help promote the ship which i am glad to do cig thank you very much for having faith and uh myself and java sparky we really appreciate it. So without further ado, guys, let's uh, take a look at the, the brand new ship from Drake. What do you think of this thing? Um, so I do have to warn you, this is our Corp at Night, which personally I love. Uh, but it, it it's it's a little dark. I'm on top of our Corp headquarters here in the light. And uh, I really, really like the way this ship looks. And uh, this this new steel or metal skin, it, uh, the texture, it's phenomenal. We're going to take a lot more look at this when we get up into space. But uh, with that, let's actually take a look around the ship. Uh, from what we can see right now, it is uh, very much a, a Drake Cutlass Black um, kind of clone to, to start with. Uh, I do like the writing on the side. And notice on the very top, there is a manned turret. Uh, there's a standard Drake Cutlass uh, pilot and co-pilot in the in the front cockpit area with that fabulous glass and cockpit viewing area that the Cutlass series has. Um, we can see that there is a pilot gun here that is a gimbaled size 2. There's one on the other side, and there are also two gimbaled size 2 up front. So the pilot has four size 3 hard points, and they come gimbaled uh, with two uh, CF-227 Badger repeaters and two um, of the ballistic repeaters. Um, I yellow? They're not yellow jackets. But whatever the size 2s are, they might be yellow jackets. I should know that. As we walk around the side of the ship uh, quickly, the light keeps coming on and off and on and off. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. We can see that. See those two guns on the outside of that uh, that door? Oh, yeah. Those are guns for your dropship uh, people to maintain and use uh, as you're coming into a hot landing zone. Um, the engine back here is a uh, pretty standard drake cutlass fare um they do rotate just like any other vtol cutlasses oh look at that right there there is a rear turret it is a remote turret for the co-pilot to use so actually something for the co-pilot to do in this ship and that is awesome i've been waiting for that for a long time from drake ships um well, we'll notice this here. Well, we'll just go ahead and look at it now. Notice that this is the way now to open the ship. Open, close, and lock. Um, and I believe there's one on each side instead of just clicking on the door, which is a very good thing for Drake. And on the other side, it is a symmetrical ship. There are two more um, guns on, the, on that side door. And then there's one more gun we haven't really talked about yet. And let's go ahead and open open up uh, the ship. We're going to click on open down here. Folks, there's a gun in the back for your 
your dropship people to use. And that baby is right there. Um, I don't know the ammo capacity, although I shot these guns a lot earlier during uh, our, our Thursday live stream. And um, it was amazing. I'm trying to close this door like it's actually going to close. It doesn't close the way a cutty black, red, or blue does. You actually have to go up here to deploy, retract, open, and close. Deploy retract is for the gun, and uh, we're going to go and close the door. I really like this panel. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, and when, uh, when the gun deploys, it actually sticks out, and you cannot man the gun until it does that. So, let's take a look around the Cuddy Steel's interior here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six drop seats that are right here at the edge of the door. I'm going to go ahead and sit down into one of them um we can't actually get a view of us sitting in there because when you hit f4 it gives us a view of the outside of the ship which is perfectly fine for me but yes um you don't get force reactions when you sit in those seats um so there's six of those seats and then along the other sides where your cargo normally be is one two three four five six and another six on the side giving you a total of 18 jump seats guys 18 jump seats that's a lot now i don't know if this ship can actually carry cargo i don't think it could I do think if you're really careful, you could probably get a Nox or a Dragonfly. Definitely right here, and maybe even on each side. Um, but I just don't know if it can actually take cargo. You could definitely put boxes in here for box missions. Um, to open up the side doors here, uh, you hit this button on the panel, opens up the side doors. And you notice the guns don't do anything because they are not deployed. You actually have to come up here and click Deploy. And then the guns will come into their deployed positions. Now, these guns are a little different from other guns. So you just come up here and hit grip. And there we go. Now the guns are, are moving around. There's actually quite a bit of uh, a good movement on them. They move quick. And they do not fire because we're in an armistice zone. But one thing I have noticed is right here. We got the low ammo button and the armed button both on, and I haven't fired a shot. This is a brand new claimed ship, so um, the lights may be off a little bit, but when you hit right mouse click, you do get a reticle now, and now you can actually aim your gun better. So we'll go into that in a little bit more detail when we uh, actually take this sh ship out and um, we'll, we'll take it into space and fly it around. And that's going to be the exact same thing on the other door as well, everybody. So let's go ahead and mosey on into the forward cabin. And this is pretty standard uh, Drake Cutlass Black fare from here on up. We have a manned turret up there with two size threes on the turret. We have two beds because it is a crew of two. Although I would venture to say this, you could really do a crew of three right now. Because the pilot and the co-pilot now have jobs with the co-pilot on the remote turret. And that gives a third person this, uh, this man turret. So, but, you know, I mean... There's probably going to be more oxygen on the ship one day because it is a dropship. So maybe you have one of the dropship people man the man turret. Uh, at a standard cutlass uh, fair here around the cockpit interior, uh, we will go ahead and hop into the pilot seat. And it's uh, all of this stuff is the same. We've we've seen this before on all the Drake variants. If you have any questions about that, please check out my videos on the Drake Cutlass, black, red, and blue. Let's go ahead and fire up the engines. engines oh, yeah. All right, our engines are fired up. Let's uh, get a, a rear view of the ship. Let's go fly it around our corp, see what it feels like in the atmosphere. So we're going to lift up. It's very light on the lift up. Lifts up very, very fast. Uh, well, we will animate those uh, tricycle landing gear. And there they go, up into the ship. And uh, we will go ahead and rotate the engines to forward. All right, VTOL is off now. And let's hit it. So, flying this ship around, it feels, it feels good. It feels like uh, it feels like any other Cutlass variant, but it actually feels a little bit lighter. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to a lot of people, but 
you know, ships, they kind of make it so they have a mass and they, they feel heavy or slow or clunky or stuff like that. The, the cutlass steel feels pretty light. It feels pretty agile. And I think that's that's important, um, especially in a dropship where you might have to pull a, a 360 roll or whatever you're going to be doing. Um, but yeah, it feels good. And let's take a look inside the cockpit here. Um, let me go to SCM here because it does over that in atmosphere. SEM looks to be about 140, 546 range uh, for the Cutlass Steel. And maximum speed we're going to get in our corpse atmosphere. Unassisted by Afterburner appears to be... Hopefully I don't run into a building here. On the magnitude around 260... Um, 260-ish. So that feels good. It feels really good. Let's let's go ahead and... Ooh, that pitch up didn't feel real good. There we go. Maybe that was my fault. Okay, now I feel... Maybe they were trying to take control of me. Maybe I was getting too low. <laughs> I don't know. But let's uh, get up to 90 and we'll, we'll take off into the atmosphere. I have a little bit of weird variation, and you guys can probably see it in the stars. I'm not sure what that's from. Uh, that could just be a PTU thing. Because everything else seems to be fine. We just came out of that 2D layer of clouds uh, above Arcorp. I can't wait till Arcorp and Hurston um, ha actually have real working clouds. It's going to be phenomenal. Now, the ship right here, it looks kind of gray. Kind of gray and white. Um, of course, it's dark. Getting the sun reflection... Um, or I guess the light reflection from the city is not doing it justice. Once we get into space and we get some sun, we'll really be able to show you what the steel looks like, the, the paint job, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Did we make it out yet? Oh yeah, we're definitely out. Let's see if we can find an OM marker or, or something similar to that. There we go. OM6, here we go. This does come with a stock Crossfield Quantum Drive, so pretty quick. It's a very good uh, stock drive. Now, you got to also remember something, folks. I have no idea if this is the final configuration of the Cutlass Steel. Um, and, I, you know, CIG knows, but <laughs> we don't know. Okay. So let me steady the ship out. And here we go. Here is that texture I was talking about on the Cutlass Steel very uh, metal-like texture. It looks really, really good. It looks very mechanized. It looks like it is, you know, just that brushed stainless steel or brushed aluminum type of look. Um, it's it's almost a camouflage pattern with uh, with the way it looks right there. It is absolutely gorgeous. I really do like it. Um, it it's a beautiful ship. Um, I think that may be our thumbnail right there. Maybe we'll go down a little bit and uh, rotate around. Get an Arc Corp in there? Nah, no one wants to see Arc Corp, do they? Or do they? I don't know. <laughs> we'll get a little zoom out, maybe, of the uh, show off the side guns there. Who knows? I'll probably take a bunch of screenshots and pick one. Anyway, guys, this is what the Cutlass Steel looks like in the sun. Um, just gorgeous. It has that dark band of, of darker steel around some of the different parts. And the way the, the sun just bounces off of uh, the steel makes it a very, very cool shader, uh, very cool texture. Okay, so now that we're hanging out out here, let's, uh, let's hop out of the cockpit real quick. We'll do a weapons test. The first weapons test, which I haven't even done yet, is I'm going to I want to hop into the co-pilot seat and check out that remote gun in the back. OK, the gear is flashing. There's there's a bug. CIG <laughs> power on. OK, and so I wonder if we have missile operator mode back here. I'm hitting it and nothing's happening, so maybe we don't have it back here. 
Um, I know this ship is supposed to have more missiles. It looks like it actually has 16 missiles here, um, which would be eight Tempest 2s and eight Arrestor 3s. That's a lot of missiles for a Cutlass variant. Um, let me see. Let me try to find where the remote turret option is. There's exit. Um, oh, they're over there on the left-hand side. Enter remote turret. There we go. And so from the remote turret, we see the engines on either side. And it's boom. It's just fire. It's got badgers up here. So those are those are size twos, everybody. But the cutlass finally has ooh, look at the coloring on the steel with the red. That looks awesome. We finally have a, a rear turret on our cutlass variant, which is, I think, something that was kind of lacking. Um, I guess what I've heard, I don't know if they're final numbers, but this ship has a lot less hull hit points um, than some of the other variants. I don't know if that's meant to be that way on purpose. I, I would think that a dropship would actually have more armor because it's going to be taking fire as it comes in. But very cool um, for the remote turret. And that is about it for the remote turret um, as we head into the back we've kind of already went over this area you see we have some gun racks and stuff and the, and the two beds um, we have our compartments for the ship's uh, inventory right there uh, let's go ahead and hop into the man turret which should have I believe two size threes probably panther three three sevens I believe and we'll turn the power on down there. Yep, we have Panthers up here, guys. So uh, there is the turret on top, and we can see it's moving around. Yep, and it has a pretty good firing arc, just like just like a Cuddy Black would have. Um, very nice. Lots of ammo on uh, the the Panthers up here. Definitely enough to hold your own in a firefight. So. I mean, you've seen this turret before, everybody, and it's it's nothing new. Um, Professor Wright was commenting on how pretty the floor is in this ship, and I tend to agree that the this brush steel look uh, actually looks really really nice. The whole shipping gerbil looks beautiful. Okay, let's open up our doors. Let's open. We will deploy our guns. We'll go ahead and take a grip of this gun and we will uh, fire at our corp. Yay! The one thing I don't like about this gun is there is really nothing telling me what my ammo count is. I would really like to know what my ammo count is, if there even is an ammo count. Um, but we can see it's probably a size 1 ballistic repeater. Um, it does look like we're hitting our ship. I don't know if that's a good thing or if I should continue or not. As we look through the reticle, we can see it's a... Uh, there, there's a limited range on here, but that's why there's two guns. One to kind of fire backwards and one to kind of fire forwards. Especially down. And we will hop off of that. I'm sure you guys could uh, use your imagination in this for this other gun, but we're going to go ahead and pull it out and we'll uh, go ahead and fire it. And just, just kind of as we thought, really good on a straight, you know, horizontal or perpendicular axis to the ship. Um, fires down pretty darn well. Fires up okay, but it can only go so far to the left. It can only go so far to the right. So th there are some limitations to that. So I would not say it is overpowered by any means. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this guy. And we will deploy these guns as well. And these are just going to be the same as the other ones. Um, but there we go. Pretty much the same thing as on the other side, everybody. Okay, now the gun everybody else is uh, talking about. Let's Now we can't do anything over here until we actually deploy the guns. So you're going to have to open your ramp. Which is really cool. I really like it. And then we will deploy our gun. Boom. There we go, guys. It's deployed. And then we can grip it. So now we have access to shoot out of our back ramp. And it looks like we're shooting our shields, if you see that. You see the blue coming up? It does look like we're shooting the shields of the ship. 
Looks like we can fire inside the ship as well. Although I don't think we're actually taking damage. It does look like we're firing at the ramp. Um, so again, oh, see that? See, there was where you see the shield on the bottom left. And I'm just going to sit here and hold this to fire. I don't know how much ammo is in here. I would assume a lot. But they're still tweaking things. They're still working on things. It's the very first iteration of the Cuddy Steel. Um, the reticle looks really good. And I think you'd definitely be able to cover people coming up this ramp if you needed to, to grab them on a hot drop or a hot pickup. So a very, very cool aspect of... Uh, this ship we're gonna go ahead and retract actually let's leave it open i want to try something we're gonna come back up forward to the cockpit area i'm gonna show you the pilot guns um the gimbal size 2 laser repeaters and the uh size 2 uh, ballistics so there's the lasers left mouse button and there is the scorpion they're scorpions that's what they are scorpions size twos so uh together they're gonna that's the firepower we're gonna get from that i think we're out of sunlight altogether, but that's okay um a lot of firepower here switch it on the missiles um tempest two eight tempest twos that's not letting me switch my missile type very odd. That may be a bug. I'm not sure. Yeah, it won't let me switch my, switch my missile type, but that's all right. Um, that's why that's why it's in the PTU to work out all the bugs and everything. So, what I'm going to try to do right now, guys, I'm going to try to close all doors, and I want to see if those guns actually retract. So we're doing a close exterior. Looks like the guns did retract. So if you do hit a close exterior, the guns will retract um, into the spots that they would normally be for stowage, which is it's nice that that option was included. So let's uh, we're actually going to fly back to our, our home of our corp here. I think we're, we're going to wrap up the video. Like I said, this was a very quick look of the Cuddy Steel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly enjoy flying it. Um, it was a ton of fun. Actually, we're going to go to Bikini Point. It's been a ton of fun um, flying this ship around. It's it's pretty neat that we're still getting ships and variants. Um, even at this point of the development cycle, this late in the year, we've gotten a ton of ships in 2021. Also had a ton of server lag as well um i have this thing all the way maxed guys and the max speed of this ship as of right now is 899 meters a second so just to let you know that we'll hit our space brakes here looks like there's a ton of room in the boost um to come to a stop also really really good feature for a drop ship to have um, you do want enough, you know, enough boost in there to be able to, to come to a stop um, and not have to worry about feathering, things like that. I'm still having the mouse issue in uh, in 316. I do have an issue council report on that, which I, I guess some others haven't experienced it, but I definitely have. Please proceed to sign landing bay. OK, let's let's see what this puppy looks like when it lands. There's a Carrick out there. Where's my, uh, where's my marker? Where's my marker, Bikini Point? There it is. I, my thoughts on this ship, we've only got to play with it a little bit. If you watch our stream from uh, tonight, which is the 16th, 12, 16, um, we did fully man, well, mostly man this up. We didn't get 18 people in it. We had people on the doors and stuff, and we came in and did an FPS mission. We didn't do Jump Town 2.0 because we didn't need to. Um, and the, the, our stream is, you know, relatively short. 
but we all really enjoyed this ship. We enjoyed flying it. We enjoyed uh, really the CIG's given us even more um, in this line of ships that is beloved. Um, I am actually hitting the lights button. And I don't see any lights turning on right now. Oh my gosh, dig that 32. What is up, dig? He's, I bet he's probably flying. I wonder if he's flying the Cuddy Black or the Cuddy Steel. Might have to. What are you flying, dig? Oh, what do you know? The Cuddy Steel. Is he moving? What should we do? I mean, this video is going on YouTube. Dig's probably not even going to see it. Should we just say hello? And there goes Dig. I love that guy's videos. <laughs> Dig is amazing. Uh, Dig, I hope you see this video. <laughs> and you're like, hey, this didn't blow me up. Any day that that happens is a good day. Not that I would do that, but it does look like the lights don't work. So that's too bad. All right, let's land the ship and uh, I'm going to get to rendering and uh, I hope you guys are uh, having a great day and uh, look forward to the upcoming holidays. Uh, if you remember, uh, Fist and Java Save the Universe streams every Thursday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And Java does a mining stream um, at 9 a.m. Mountain Time every Sunday called Java with Java. You can find us in our Discord links below. Please hop in, fly with us, have fun with us. There's usually somebody out there looking for some kind of camaraderie out there uh in the discord looking for people to fly with uh we do do giveaways and uh not just ship giveaways but uh, we gave away some armor today and uh we try to make it a fun experience on our streams because we only stream really once a week and and uh it, it, you know we both have full-time jobs so uh thanks for your support guys enjoy the rest of your day uh or night and uh Remember, if the fists don't get you, the lightning bolt will. Good night, Stanton.